On day one, I spawned in as a baby iron golem. Although I had only just spawned, I knew my sole purpose was to protect the land and all of its residents. I'm gonna be the best security guard there is. Just then, a pillager king emerged with his army and said, In 100 days, my secret weapon will be completed and every village in the world will belong to me and my army. But I'm just one golem. How am I supposed to defend every town in the world? On day two, I decided to start small and seek out a village that could need the help of an iron golem. After a bit of traveling, I spotted a village being ravaged by spiders. Time to kick some butt. I rushed into battle and began to fight them all off. As a baby iron golem, I had 20 hearts and my attacks packed a punch. Each spider I hit was launched into the air. I had super knockback. After some back and forth, I managed to take down the swarm. Not bad for day two. Upon my victory, members of the village gathered around and praised me for saving them. What happened to your local golem? He's been on the frets. We don't know what's wrong with him. Well, maybe I can talk it out with him. On day three, I traveled in search of the lost golem, but no matter how much I looked, I couldn't find him. Where could he be? Suddenly, I was ambushed by a pillager. Aw, a little baby iron golem. You're coming with me. No way. I tried my best to fight him off, but he was too tough at my size. It didn't take long for him to overwhelm me and knock me out cold. When I came to, I was at a pillager outpost. I was trapped in a cage, and in front of me stood the pillager king. What's a foolish little golem doing in my neck of the woods? None of your business. I'm going to stop your plans. Ah, at this size, you're hilarious. Soon, my weapon will wipe you all out. The pillager king left, leaving me at the mercy of his guards. I thought I was finished when suddenly an armored golem appeared. Leave the kid alone. He began to fight off the group of pillagers with his incredible strength. He seemed unstoppable and could knock them back with ease. He's so cool. Dozens of pillagers began to pile in, but he was still able to put up a fight. I had never seen an iron golem with this strength before. I have to become just as strong as he is. The dust settled and the golem came to set me free. But just as he was about to, a pillager snuck behind him and landed a powerful hit. The golem slayed him and let me out of my prison. Afterwards, the two of us ran away from the outpost before more backup could arrive. On my next day, I decided to take a rest. Defending villages from monsters can be tiring, so I like to play Dragon City, which now has all the best Walking Dead characters in dragon form. Dragon City is an awesome free-to-play mobile game. There's over a thousand different dragons to collect, each with different elements and rarities. Best of all, it's available on all devices. My favorite part of Dragon City is the Master Arenas, a PvP battle system where you take on other dragon masters. You can also do weekly mini games for daily prizes and to catch new dragons. In addition, there's the Divine Pass for even more rewards. The Walking Dead is joining Dragon City. Iconic characters like Negan, Rick, and Michonne are now available in awesome dragon form. To get these exclusive dragons, download Follow Dragon City by clicking the link in the description below, or scan the QR code and get a special free start pack with 15,000 food, 30,000 gold, and the epic zombie nature dragon. Thanks Dragon City for sponsoring this video. On days 4 through 7, I found a hiding spot for me and the Iron Golem to hunker down. Thank you for saving me. Of course. I wish I could do the same for my village. Wait, you're the Golem I was looking for. What happened? Something hasn't been feeling right, so I haven't been able to protect my village properly. That pillager hit me hard. I don't have much time. Is there any way I could get strong like you? I want to defeat the king. You're a fool if you think you can do that. He's too powerful. I won't go down without a fight. Well, there might be one way. Seek out the other golems across the land. They all want to protect their homes, the same as you and I. The Iron Golem succumbed to his wounds and dropped a mysterious upgrade in his place. I picked it up out of curiosity and suddenly transformed into an adult Iron Golem. I now had 30 hearts. I won't let you down. I'll protect your village and all of the others. On days 8 through 10, I knew if I wanted to survive my journey, I would need to start working on a home base. Time to get gathering. I punched down some trees for wood, which I used to create a crafting bench and make a wooden pickaxe. Afterwards, I mined some cobblestone and upgraded to stone tools. With all my tools completed, I went back and mined for a ton of cobblestone. Afterwards, I got to work on my base, using the materials I had on hand. I wanted it to eventually become a massive security HQ. Uh, yeah, it's got a long way to go. All of that building had really worked up an appetite, so I set off in search of some grub. Just as the sun began to set, I came across another village. 
Can I have some of your crops? I would if I had some. There's something that keeps eating our crops at night. That's no good. I'll check it out. On days 11 through 14, I decided to camp out at the villager's garden to wait until I could catch whatever was terrorizing the crops. Wait, what was that? I saw something out of the corner of my eye and leapt into action, chasing whatever it was deeper into the woods. It was fast, but I was determined to protect those crops and that village. It bobbed and weaved around the trees like its life depended on it. I finally caught up to it when... Wait, where did it go? It was nowhere to be seen. Things don't just disappear. Where are you hiding? All of a sudden, something fell and hit my head. What the? Food? I looked up and saw a copper golem munching away in a tree. Hey, get down here. That's not yours. I'm sorry. The pillagers destroyed my home and now we're so hungry. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, little guy. Well, if you promise not to do it again, maybe you'd want to come stay with me. Really? I'd love that. A new home. What's your name? I'm Gizmo Gonsopolis IV. I'll just call you Gizmo. We returned back to the base and I started to build Gizmo a room to stay. Maybe he'd be able to help me turn this place into a real security headquarters someday. As a gift of thanks, he shared some of his food with me. Knowing it's all he had, it really meant a lot to me. I was excited to start this new friendship. Yay! Thank you, Max. On days 15 through 18, I went out in search for more golems. The more golems I could find, the more help I could get to protect the land from the king's weapon. After searching for a while, I came across a village swarmed with zombies. It looks like all the villagers have been zombified. This is horrible. All of a sudden, a golem appeared from around the house and was trying to fight off the zombies. Oh my gosh, I have to help him. Wait, please don't hurt them. These are my people. Uh, I think they're kind of a lost cause, dude. Please, I think I know a way to save them. I had to think fast if we were going to save these zombie villagers and somehow turn them back to normal. I quickly built a small pen to corral the zombie villagers. I made sure to add a roof so no sunlight would cause them to burn either. Ooh, thank you for respecting my wishes. My name is Gary. Sure, I'm Max. You really think you know a way you can cure them? I know a guy. He's well versed in alchemy, and I'm sure he can prove something that can fix this. Okay then, let's go find this alchemist. I should stay here and keep an eye on my villagers, just to make sure they stay safely in this thing. But follow this, it'll lead you right to them. Good plan. All right, I'll follow this map and be right back. On days 19 through 21, I followed the map until I could find the alchemist. I'd never heard of curing zombieism before, but it would be incredible if this rumor was true. After much travel, I found a flower forest where a nature golem was waiting. Are you the alchemist I was told about? Intruder! He suddenly lunged at me and knocked me back with a mighty blow. Whoa, ouch! What gives? I'm not here to fight. All shall fall for the mighty king. What? It seemed like it was no use. The nature golem charged at me and all I could do was try to defend myself. I didn't want to ruin the only chance those zombie villagers had, but I couldn't fall here either. Snap out of it already! What is wrong with this guy? While trying to knock some sense into this guy, I saw a potion fall off of him and land on the ground. I ran over and grabbed the potion and ran off before things could get any worse. I am out of here! The pillager king will guide us all! I returned to the zombified village and hurried over to tell Gary what happened. That doesn't sound like my friend. This has to be that awful pillager's doing. Wait, you think he's taking control of the golems? On days 22 through 24, I used the mysterious potion I got from the alchemist to cure all of the villagers of their zombieism. Wow, I'm so happy that worked. As a gift of thanks, the villagers gave me tons of seeds and crops that I could use for my own garden. You're the best, Max. Thank you. It's all in a day's work. Thank you for all of your help, Max. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. Wow, thanks, Gary. I appreciate it. That map will lead you to a magnificent city ruled by a powerful golem. If anybody could help you on your journey, it would be him. Amazing! I'll be sure to visit him. Hopefully the Pillager King hasn't gotten to him too. I left the village, but now I had new things to be worried about. My golem brethren were now being controlled by an evil king. <laughs> if I was going to save them and stop him, I was going to need to get stronger. I mined for some coal and iron and built a furnace nearby to craft an iron pickaxe. Further down the mine, I even found some diamond. With those in hand, I crafted a new diamond pickaxe. 
I headed back to the base to regroup. I caught up with Gizmo and expanded the base to make room for our materials. I built some chests and filled the room with them. Afterwards, I used my iron ingots to make a bucket. I also crafted a hoe so I could finally get started on my garden. I gathered some water in my new bucket and started forming my garden outside the base. Now we don't have to worry about food anymore. Gizmo then walked up and handed me a poppy. Hey, thanks. What's this for? Norwegian. I just thought you'd like it. Oh, us iron golems do love poppies. Thanks, bud. I planted Gizmo's poppy right next to mine. Now this is really starting to feel like home. On days 25 through 27, I decided to follow Gary's map to find his rumored magnificent city and powerful golem. As I searched, I realized that only a small percentage of the viewers watching are actually subscribed. Smash that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. After a while, I discovered an entire city made of diamond. Whoa. This is beautiful! I wonder what it's like to protect a city like this. I made my way towards the gates, when suddenly a massive diamond golem stopped me in my tracks. Sorry, you may not pass. Why not? You need a diamond badge to pass. Only golems who receive all four pieces of the badge will be allowed inside. It's really important though. You seem like a good kid. So I'll give you some advice. You can get pieces by protecting villages. Go to the dark village of the east. Nobody goes there. Well, I do like to help others. I'll do it. Thank you. I started to travel towards the dark village in search of my ticket inside. I wanted to know what was so special about that place that they had to keep it locked up. I'll have to find out when I get the badge. On days 28 through 31, I arrived at the dark village of the east, and immediately I could tell the place lived up to its name. The place was run down, and criminals ran through the streets. The residents stayed in their homes, too fearful to step outside. This place is eerie. I peeked through narrow alleyways, until finally discovering an iron golem in critical condition. What happened here? I am the iron golem of this village. Our town is a crime zone. It's always been like this. Well, not anymore. I'm here to help. I began my quest to stomp out all crime in the Dark Village, as well as build up its defenses. I started by going in hot pursuit of a robber that had stolen someone's shulker box. Here you go, sir. My hero. Next, I scared off some punks causing trouble for the residents. They underestimated my strength, and I put them in their place. Uh, you're not the usual iron golem we mess with. That's right. I'm the golem who won't put up with your baloney. Get out of here! Finally, I rebuilt some of their damaged infrastructure and the village was beginning to feel safer and safer. People were even beginning to leave their homes and enjoy their town. This is great! Suddenly, I heard a massive crash in the distance. I ran to check it out and discovered a TNT golem destroying a newly built structure. All hail the king! Hey, stop that! I don't want to hurt you! My pleas didn't matter. The golem charged at me full speed. On days 32 through 34, I had to fight the giant TNT golem. The last thing I wanted to do was hurt another protector, but right now, he wasn't in the right mind. He threw explosives wildly all over the place, leaving craters in the ground. I dodged the best I could and tried to use force to knock some sense back into him. You're supposed to protect, not destroy! I'm sorry, but I have to stop you. <sighs> what? What's going on? Hey man, are you okay? I... I don't know. The, the last thing I remember is... Uh, a, a prototype. He took over my mind. Onward, men! Come out and face me yourself, King. You're a strong one, aren't you? Well, now it's time you lend your strength to my army. All hail the king. Wait, are you saying that what's taking over Gom's minds is only a prototype? That's right. If the Pillager King completes his weapon, all golems will be under his control forever. That's awful! I can't let that happen! Thank you for freeing my mind. I will stay and help rebuild this village that I wrongly destroyed. The golem then tossed me a piece of the diamond badge. Awesome! Thank you! Only three more pieces to go! On days 35 through 38, I returned home. 
I realized that I needed to beef up my own base after hearing what the king was capable of. I don't want to get mind controlled. I started by rethinking the foundational material of the base. I was an iron golem, so it should be made of iron. I took out my pickaxe and got to mining, getting loads of iron ore in the process. After a lot of gathering, I crafted up a bunch of furnaces which I used to smelt the ore into ingots. Finally, I used my iron to craft plenty of iron blocks. Now it's time for the fun part. I replaced all of the oak pillars with my new iron ones. I could already tell that this structure was much more secure now. While I was at it, I expanded too, adding a few additional rooms. Now I just need one more thing. I used my excess cobblestone to make some walls, which I used to start a perimeter around the base for extra protection. Let's see the pillagers attack us now! As I was wrapping up, Gizmo ran up to me. There have been reports of pillager outposts being built nearby! Time for some sabotage! On days 39 through 41, I traveled to the outpost that Gizmo had told me about. But when I arrived, I saw I was too late. The outpost had nearly been completed, and it was placed on the remains of a village that had been torn down. This is terrible! I couldn't save this town in time. Even though the village was destroyed, I could still drive out the pillager army from causing further harm. I rushed down the mountain and into battle to fight the pillagers. I pummeled them with all my strength and sent them flying into the sky. That's what you get for hurting innocent people! Their numbers were overwhelming, but I still managed to come out on top. I thought the battle was over, until suddenly a giant pillager emerged from the outpost. Uh-oh, you're big. Armed with my stone sword, I moved in to land swift attacks on the enemy. His powerful hammer packed a punch, dealing heavy hits to my health bar. Thankfully, I was able to outclass him with my golem strength. Finally, once all the pillagers were defeated, I began to scout out the town for any survivors. After a bit of looking, I discovered a family of villagers hiding inside one of the remaining houses. It's it safe to come out? Yes, but this village is too far gone. Come stay at my base. It's safe there. That sounds great. I returned to the base and quickly built them a house to call their own besides the HQ. Thank you for your help. Please take this. What is it? It's a part that belonged to your iron golem. He died protecting everyone until the very end. He would want you to have it. I thanked them and accepted their gift. The upgrade suddenly disappeared and gave me 10 hearts. I won't let something like this happen to a village ever again. On days 42 through 45, I was tending to the base when suddenly I was visited by the Pillager King. What are you doing here? You've been a real pain in my side, so I thought I'd pay you a visit. What do you want? I want you to stop meddling into things that don't involve you. I've always hated you golems. You always put your lives on the line to defend villagers, but us pillagers are left to fend for ourselves. You have never been anything but a nuisance to our kind, and now I'm taking what's ours. When my weapon is complete, all of you golems will belong to me at last. You won't get away with this! With you out of the way, I will. Just then, the king summoned a massive netherite golem. Enjoy, my little abomination. <laughs> the king fled, and the netherite golem charged at me full speed. No, wait! I don't want to hurt you! Fall, pathetic golem, and bow to the king. The massive creature didn't respond to my voice at all. He was no longer a golem, but a monster completely lost to the king's spell. I have to protect my home. I'm sorry. I stopped holding back and went all out on the mind-controlled golem. I pulled out my axe and started swinging, but his giant shield was hard to get around. Luckily, my powerful knockback ability could launch him into the sky. He swung with his giant hammer, but I maneuvered around him the best I could. I switched my sword to get some swift hits in when he was vulnerable. Seeing that I was faster than him, he spun and hit me with his giant tail. After a fierce battle, I summoned all of my strength, and the netherite golem finally fell to his death. Has his mind control gotten stronger? On days 46 through 48, I made myself an iron axe and sword. Afterwards, I was worried about the growing power of the king's abilities, when suddenly I realized the nature golem was still in danger. He could be getting worse. I have no time to lose. I returned to the sanctuary where I originally discovered him, but there was nobody there. Just then, I heard a massive crashing noise in the distance. Uh-oh. I followed the crashing sounds and found the nature golem terrorizing a forest and its animals. Hey, stop that! Death to all traitors! 
I went down to intervene, and without a second thought, the nature golem once again attacked me. I pleaded with him to make him stop, but my words weren't doing anything again. Guess I just have to knock some sense into you. I began to fight back. The two of us were neck and neck and equally matched as golems in strength. However, I had something to one him up my sword. I sliced down the nature golem and even used the terrain to land an attack from above. After a while, I used my axe to dwindle him down, which was very effective. He was starting to crack. Maybe it was the fact I had gotten stronger, but by some miracle, I managed to knock the nature golem out of his trance. I'm so sorry, my boy. The pillager king, he... Don't worry. I'm glad you're okay, but this is getting out of hand. I'm well versed in alchemy, and I made numerous potions. Perhaps I can cure the Pillager King's spell. I'll need time, but I'll get to work right away. That's a great idea! I left the golem a map to the base so he could return when he had more updates on the status of the cure. On days 49 through 52, I began to travel back home when I was stopped by a zombified piglin. Please! You have to help me! Our golden golem has gone berserk! Even golems in the nether? Show me the way! I followed the piglin through a nether portal. We arrived at a bastion, which was being terrorized by a massive gold golem. Stop this now! I don't want to hurt you! I will crush you, tiny defender! Just like all the others, the golem lunged at me with all of their strength. I had to fight. The two of us went back and forth, landing heavy blows from each side. The zombified piglins had nowhere to run, but they gave us space to duel it out in the ring. I juggled the big, ugly taxi beast in the air with my knockback ability and sliced into him with my sword. He was tough, but my axe helped crack his armor. However, he didn't show any signs of letting up. The pillager king really has a tight grip on this one. After a lot of struggle, I managed to knock out the gold golem cold. I knew he could still be mind controlled, so I quickly got to work on a cage as a precaution. By the time the golem came to, he was trapped. All hail the king! All hail the king! Is he really gonna be okay in there? Yes, I promise I'll have a cure soon. Well, thank you for your bravery. Please take this as a gift of thanks. The piglin then handed me the second piece of the diamond badge. I won't let y'all down. On days 53 through 55, I was worried that the king's mind control was getting stronger with each passing day. I better reinforce the base even more. I can't risk his weapon affecting any one of us. I added more layers to my walls to try to keep the king's mind control out. Max, Max, I found some things that could help improve our security. Oh, really? Awesome. Lay it on me. Gizmo tossed over tons of cameras and high-tech computers. Wow, Gizmo, where did you find all of this? I like collecting gizmos. That's why people call me that. Cool. Let's go install these right now. I began expanding the headquarters to make a whole room dedicated to Gizmo's new tech. With all of these cameras at my disposal, I could really step up my game in the security business. I went around and revisited all the towns that I helped so far and installed cameras throughout each of them, giving me eyes and ears all over the world, just in case any of them needed my help once again. When I returned to the base, I found the nature golem waiting for me. Have you already finished the cure? Not yet, but things are getting dangerous outside. Can I stay here? Of course. I then moved the nature golem into his own room in the base. This is perfect. Thank you. On days 56 through 59, I decided I needed some more help. I went out to search for more golems who could help in the cause. I came across a new village, but it was one consisting only of creepers. This place is a time bomb. I walked around, but the place was a ghost town. All of the residents peered at me through the windows of their home. I have a feeling I'm not welcome here. I stumbled upon a lone creeper outside minding his business. I figured I could ask him for directions and continue on my way. Excuse me, sir. Oops. After the eruption of the creeper, I heard heavy footsteps approaching me from behind. I turned around to find their cobblestone golem towering over me. Sorry, I didn't mean to. The cobblestone golem blew up, dealing massive damage to me in the process. I thought he was done for, but he was able to combine all of his pieces back together to revive himself. Uh oh. The cobblestone golem clearly didn't want me around in his village and was willing to explode himself to get me to leave. How was I supposed to fight something that could just reform itself together once it broke apart? I tried slashing at the little pieces of the golem that were scattered around. I figured the less pieces that make it back to the main golem head, the weaker he was getting. The golem wouldn't stop exploding long enough to listen to reason so I had to take him out if I wanted to escape with my life. After I broke apart the last piece of the golem, the horde of creeper residents ran after me as a mob. I had no choice but to run away. I'm sorry! On days 60 through 63, I came back from my weird adventure to regroup at the base. It turns out the nature golem was there waiting for me. I have crafted a new potion for you to test out on a mind-controlled golem. I believe it may actually remove the king's mind control. 
Really? Does it work? I can't know for sure. That's why I need you to test it out. I remembered that the gold golem in the nether needed help, so I headed straight there to test it out. I arrived to see that the gold golem was still deeply mind controlled. Luckily, he was still locked up, so he couldn't hurt anybody. <clears throat> Here goes nothing. Oh, you're so cute. He was so small that I figured I could let him out of his cage. He couldn't hurt a fly now, but out of nowhere, he grew to an even bigger size than before. Oh no, not cute. All hail the king. Oh man, bad day, bad day, bad day. He chased me around all over the place, even faster and stronger than before. Things weren't looking good for me, but all of a sudden, the golem stopped and shrunk back down to normal size. Uh, are you still loyal to the king? Uh, of course not. That guy stinks. Ooh, you're cured. Thank you so much. Now that I'm free, I'm going to go back to protecting my village. Keep up the good work. On days 64 through 66, I returned to the base to tell the nature golem what happened. It's definitely got some kinks to work out, but I'm getting close. Thank you. The nature golem got back to work, and Gizmo walked up to me. Hey, Max. I want to show you something. I followed Gizmo, curious as to what he wanted to show me. Finally, we arrived at a magnificent field of flowers. Whoa, this is beautiful. I thought you'd like it. My mama always loved flowers, too. I'm sure you miss her. I do, but I have you as my family now. You're my family too, buddy. The two of us enjoyed the view. Everything was good in the world, until suddenly the Pillager King emerged. Oh, how touching. What do you want? Only to have you off my back. You're forcing my hand, foolish golem. I won't stop until you fall from your throne. Then you leave me no choice. The Pillager King took out his prototype and zapped Gizmo. He immediately started acting weird. Whoa, buddy, are you okay? Max, I don't feel so good. All of a sudden, Gizmo changed forms. He had been corrupted by the king's powers. All hail the king. Gizmo ran at me full speed, ready to attack me to the death. I pleaded with him to stop, but he wouldn't back down. No, Gizmo, stop! I couldn't bring myself to fight my friend and ran away as fast as I could. Run while you can. You're going to be next. <laughs> On days 67 through 70, I rushed home to tell the nature golem what had happened. I gave you the last of my antidotes, and my new batch won't be done for a few days. Give me time. I was feeling anxious about Gizmo, so I decided to try and sleep it off. Unfortunately for me, I fell asleep into a horrible nightmare. I was inside of a void, where there was nothing but black for miles around me. Where am I? Before I could get my bearings, the Pillager King emerged in front of me. Let me into your mind, Max. I'll never let you toy with my head. Suddenly, a corrupted gizmo appeared behind me. Join the king. You'll be so happy. What? No, I... Join the king. You'll be so happy. Join, Join the, the king. king. You'll be so happy. You'll be Join so the king. No! You'll be You'll so, be so happy. I woke up in a cold sweat. Thankfully, it was only a nightmare. The king's trying to get into my head. I have to save Gizmo. Now! On days 71 through 74, I spoke with the nature golem again to find that he had finally completed the next iteration of his cure. That's great news. But I must warn you, this brew still has its faults. There's a chance it could cure the user, but it could also be lethal. Lethal? I wanted a cure, not poison. There's only a 1% chance of the user dying. I'm afraid it's the best I can do right now. Okay, I'll take it just in case. Thank you. With my questionable cure in hand, I left to find the whereabouts of Gizmo. It didn't take too long before I stumbled upon him wreaking havoc with some pillagers. I'm coming, buddy! I started by taking out the pillager army. I had fought off so many of them by now that I knew their attack patterns. Even so, they could still pack a punch thanks to their sheer numbers. All the while, Gizmo attacked innocent villagers. I took out the fleet, leaving only Gizmo remaining. Snap out of it, Gizmo! I'm your family! I will kill all who oppose the king. I had no choice but to fight him. Thanks to my knockback, I was able to keep him off me, but he was far stronger under the influence of the Pillager King. We traded hits back and forth, but the longer the fight went on, the more difficult it was to keep him at bay. I struggled to keep up, and he showed no signs of stopping his onslaught. At this rate, I'll lose! I had no choice but to throw my potion at him, causing him to almost immediately stop in his tracks. Everything went silent. Gizmo? On days 75 through 77, I watched a Gizmo transform back into his normal self. What? Where am I, Max? Gizmo, you're okay. 
Ugh, I feel horrible. Thank you for saving me. The two of us headed home, and when I got there, I figured it was time to finish my base. I began expanding the HQ to make it look more like a security hub. With that, I built more houses for people to come stay, a fountain, and I installed new security cameras to the surrounding area for extra protection. After that, I went around recruiting people who had lost their homes to stay at my HQ. We traveled back to the base, where I showed local villagers into their new high security homes. Finally, I added a poppy garden for all to enjoy, but especially in celebration of Gizmo's return. Yay! Yippee! With that, my super high-tech security base was complete. Nobody's getting hurt on my watch. This place is a fortress. Just then, the nature golem approached me. I'm still improving the cure, but take this in the meantime. We'll make you stronger. He dropped me a potion, and I drank it immediately. Its effects gained me 10 more hearts. Whoa, now I'm stronger than ever. Thank you. On days 78 through 81, I traveled through the night until I came across a bunch of jack-o'-lanterns scattered around a snow biome. That's ominous. I decided to follow the trail, which led me to a town made entirely of pumpkins. As I explored further, I realized that all the residents were snow golems. A village of golems? That's nice. Eventually, I found a circle of snow golems surrounding a mutant snow golem in front of them. What are you guys doing? Our golem has shown us the way of the pillager king. We always do whatever he says. What? But the king is bad news. No way. Our mutant snow golem would never do anything to harm the city. You'd have to mind control him to do that. Well, about that. Just then, the mutant snow golem spotted me. Uh-oh. Oh, hail the king. He instantly rushed over and started attacking me, bringing his army of snow villagers with him into the fray. I had no choice but to duke it out with him. He was incredibly strong and used his huge fist to try to do me in. Luckily, I was no pushover either. I launched him into the air while fending off angry villagers at the same time. They were swarming me all around, and it was super hard not to hurt them while trying to wake up their snow golem leader. Don't let that iron golem attack our leader! Stop! I'm trying to help! After a lot of back and forth, the mutant snow golem snapped out of his trance, causing all the snow golem villagers to stop fighting too. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry for the trouble. Take this. If anyone deserves to witness the Diamond City, it's you. The mutant gave me the third piece of the badge, making me one step closer towards the secrets of the city. Only one left to go. On days 82 through 84, I came across a straw maze of some sort. Huh, I guess this matches the whole jack-o'-lantern theme. <laughs> Please help. Please help. My baby. I think he's lost. Your baby? Of course, ma'am. Where did you last see him? In the hay maze. Please, please help me find my little Timothy. I bravely rushed into the maze to try to find her son. Timothy? Timothy? Where the hay are you? I hit dead end after dead end, trying to find my way deeper into the maze. I ran as fast as I could through the maze, yelling for Timothy. You're not Timothy, are you? Right, sorry to bother you. I kept moving until suddenly I saw something bolt by. Hey, hello? Timothy? I chased the mysterious figure through the maze until... Ha ha! Hey, I'm washing here. Oh, oops. I'm sorry. I left, leaving the dude in peace. Ooh, the horrifying Timothy has spooked you. Oh no, you got me. But your haunting will have to end here. Your mom has been looking everywhere for you. We made our way through the ridiculous hay maze and met back up with Timothy's mom. My baby! Oh, thank you so much for finding my boy! No problem, ma'am. Just maybe next time try a smaller maze. Ooh, I sure am hungry now. She thanked me by sharing her amazing homemade bread, and then I made my way back to the HQ to rest. On days 85 through 88, I returned home to find the king waiting for me. What are you doing here? I see you freed your little friend. It's no matter. I always wanted you to begin with. Why do you keep coming here? I'm not falling for your tricks. You've become very entertaining to watch, but my weapon is nearing completion. Soon you will also succumb to my mind control. I'd rather die than serve you. Fine. Then die. The king summoned a massive furnace golem to do me in. His face turned bright red, and he stomped towards me to attack. I started by using my sword, which broke almost instantly. I switched to my iron axe and continued to duke it out. The golem's metallic fist packed a punch and even set me on fire. Luckily, there was a nearby body of water for me to extinguish the flames. I did enough to crack his armor, but even so, he was too powerful. He overcame me, and I lost. Aren't you going to run? Ugh. I'll stand with my people until the very end. 
You golems are all the same. So boring. I can't kill you like this. I'll be back when my weapon is complete, and I'll make sure you're the first mind I take. <laughs> he left with his monster, leaving me defeated. That was too close. I have to get stronger if I want to beat him next time. On days 89 through 91, I made a diamond sword. It's about time. Once I had everything situated at the base, I finally set off in search of the final piece of the diamond badge. As I passed through villages from a plains biome to a desert biome, none of them needed help. It seemed like my security had reached all parts of the overworld. I'm glad everything is peaceful, but I need that last badge piece. Suddenly, a little enderman teleported up to me. Who are you? I'm Andy Jr., messenger of the End City. I heard your stories of saving golems, and we need your help. Lead the way! I followed Andy Jr. all the way to his city. It was far, but once we arrived, we discovered an obsidian golem rampaging across the entire city. I could already tell that he was a lost cause. He didn't even notice that I had arrived to stop him. All right, nature golem, don't let me down. I took out my diamond sword and ran in for battle. I could have thrown the potion on him immediately, but I wanted to see if I could conserve my only cure. I only had one potion, so no redos. The obsidian golem was so focused on attacking the enderman that he didn't pay me any mind. I tried to talk some sense into him first, but no matter what I did, he wouldn't snap out of it. As he continued to kill Enderman, I had no choice. I took up my potion and threw it at him. Please, no side effects! The Obsidian Golem ceased to attack me and came to his senses right away. The cure at long last was a success! Thank you for saving our city. Please, take this as a thank you from all the Endermen. Endy Jr. awarded me with the final missing piece, transforming all of my pieces into a diamond badge. Now I can go to Diamond City! On days 92 through 94, I finally was able to enter the Diamond City. With my new protector badge, I walked right up to the gate proudly. Good day, little one. I see you've gotten your badge. Excellent! You are now free to enter. Awesome! Finally! I was ushered through the gate and into the massive, beautiful Diamond Castle. It was amazing! I was soon led to the Diamond City's library, where the Diamond Golem stopped in his tracks. I will no longer pass beyond this point. Speak to the Master Golem with utmost dignity. I walked inside to find an ancient golem waiting inside of the library for me. Greetings, sir. I've come to tell you about a threat to all golem kind. I told him everything I knew about the Pillager King, including the discovery of a cure. I'm afraid a cure would only be a temporary solution. Once the weapon is completed, the Pillager King will overpower all of us regardless. We can't let that happen. I agree. You must take the Pillager King down before his weapon is completed. Allow me to train you. Of course. When do I start? Now. With that, my training session began. Lesson one is parkour. You must jump from platform to platform over a pit of lava. Why do I have to do something so life-threatening? We must be able to protect in any situation. If you cannot traverse difficult terrain, you are not a worthy golem. I mustered all my courage and began the difficult task. There were a few close calls, but I managed to clear the jumps. Lesson two is endurance training. I will hit you with my sword. Your body will crack, but your armor will grow stronger once you recover. Sounds tough, but let's do this. The Master Golem chipped away at my armor little by little. It was a tough task, but once I was low enough health, he gave me a potion of regeneration. I healed myself back to full health and gained five hearts in the process. Whoa, that really worked. After a lot of training, it was finally time for my last lesson. Lesson three, combat. You must win in battle with my most powerful warrior. Who's that? Me. On days 95 through 98, it was time for my final test. A duel with the Master Golem. You want me to fight you? To know you've truly mastered the skills I've taught you, we must fight. Well, I know you're a worthy opponent, but just know I won't go easy on you. I'm counting on it. I rushed into battle, using all the skills I learned to take down my master. He was extremely tough, and his diamond exterior and shield didn't make it any easier. Additionally, he had a massive diamond blade of his own that cracked me in a short amount of time. Despite his size and power, I wasn't going to be outmatched that easily. Using my own diamond blade, I landed clean hits of my own that even knocked him back. After a lot of back and forth, his armor began to crack as well. Uh, yeah. Ouch. Yeah. Oh. 
This was by far the most intense battle I had ever faced. But by the end of it, I managed to defeat my master and even gain five hearts. Whoa, that training really did a lot. I have nothing more to teach you. Please take this weapon as well as armor to aid you in the battle with the Pillager King. You're our last hope. I thanked him for everything and continued on my way. The time to end this was now. On day 99, I returned to the base and started to make any necessary preparations for the battle ahead. I gathered plenty of food and said my goodbyes to the residents of my home. As I was finishing up, Gizmo walked up to me. Are you sure you could take him on? He's incredibly powerful. I've been training for this moment. Nothing is going to stop me now. Good luck. Let's look at the flowers again when you come back, okay? Before leaving, I checked in on the nature golem to say my goodbyes. Ah, Max. I have one final brew for you. He handed me a potion of strength. This'll come in handy. Thank you. I left in search of the Pillager King's whereabouts. As I looked, I discovered some pillagers making a ruckus. Stop right there. I jumped in and took out the group. There was a decent amount of them, but I was able to take them down with my brute strength. Upon their death, they dropped the map to a palace. That's convenient. I followed the map until arriving at the Pillager King's domain. This would be my final battle for the fate of the world. It's time to end this. On day 100, I entered the Pillager King's palace. The place was crawling with guards who took notice of me right away. Using my new sword, I slashed at them repeatedly in quick succession. I thought I had finished the job when more came barreling down the stairs. I continued to use my blade to cut the onslaught down to size. They were no match for my strength or sheer speed. I need to go before more show up. I rushed down the steps into the throne room, where I found the king was already waiting for me inside. Well, well, well. If it isn't my favorite iron golem. Your days of terrorizing villages are over. Ha! My weapon will be completed in a matter of minutes, and you will be the one terrorizing for me. What makes you think I can't take you out now? You've never fought me yourself, and nobody is here to save you now. Oh, I'm already one step ahead of you. Suddenly, the Pillager King transformed into a giant golem mecha. You like it? I call it the Golem Grinder. You're going down, weakling. The Pillager King lunged forward, and the final battle began. The Pillager King was incredibly powerful. Armed with his prototype, he struck me down with intense lightning attacks. His Golem Grinder wasn't just a flashy name. I could feel his immense power with each hit he landed. Unfortunately for him, I had grown much stronger than I was before. I sliced him down at great speeds with my blade, but he had another trick up his sleeve. The Pillager King summoned Furnace Golems to aid him in battle. Did you miss your friends? Get him, boys. They were the same kind of golems that defeated me before, but my training had led me up to this moment. Their attacks all set me ablaze just like before. Luckily, I had a bucket of water just in case. I poured it out and used it to extinguish the flames. After a lot of fighting, I took out the last Furnace Golem, leaving only me and the Pillager King once again. No, this can't be. With one final hit, the Pillager King went down finally freeing all of Golem kind from his mind control. Yes, I did it! Download Dragon City today with this QR code or link below to get the awesome Walking Dead dragons. And thanks again to Dragon City for sponsoring this video.